Yo, what's happening everybody? King GPL here and welcome back to our new Gobelic video. Today I'm going to be showcasing the strongest Ninetales team in the Great League. Now you might be thinking to yourself, what makes this the strongest team in the Great League? This is not according to me, this is according to PV Poke. So if you have a look on there, you can have a look at top performers. And at that point you can look through which Pokemon perform best and which teams perform best. So you guys might be familiar with the Swamper Double Flyer team. Um, which of course Junk has popularized and that is actually currently the ranked number one team on PV Poke. So what I wanted to do is have a look in here and basically see what the best Ninetales team was. Now this team is a little bit different to what's recommended on PV Poke. Um, it recommends that you go for Shadow Swampert and Normal Alolan Ninetales. I've got it the other way around. So a little bit of a difference in the team and we'll see if that makes a big difference or not. One notable difference would be that you cannot two-shot an Octal with a normal Swampert, which of course you can do with the Shadow. Now when you have a look at the Core Breakers for this team, a lot of them are pretty uncommon. Of course you do see some Licky Tongues, but they're not super common anymore. You will see things like Azumarils and just a couple of other things that kind of run for your whole team. But looking at that list, I don't think there's anything that a joint effort could not take out. Uh, overall, whenever you put this into Team Builder, it comes up with a pretty bad result. You do get an ever consistency though. This is the team based on player performance and of course simulations with bots that is doing best with Alone and Ninetales. We're going to check out this team, see if it's worth running. I'll give you my own personal opinion on whether I think this is the best Alone and Ninetales team. And just really quickly before we do hop into it, we hit 1500 yesterday, so big thank you, very much appreciate it. The videos have been doing insanely well and thank you everybody who's been checking out the videos, dropping likes and subscribing. If you've been watching for a little while and you haven't yet subscribed, quickly do that now if you're enjoying the videos. Of course hit that like button and let's hop into these uh, these battles here. So we actually seen a Venusaur in the back, which is about the first time I've seen that in about 7 years. Um, no, it's not been that long, maybe 6 years at the most, but we Earthquake it, which does a crazy amount of damage. And again, that's where Shadow Swampert would be better, you get that one shot. Now we're coming in here against Azu, and we just came back in to farm down. We will eat a player off, which is kind of very rough for us. And again, I think that's uh, where normal Ninetales is a little bit better. You can eat moves a lot easier. We just aggro swap at this point, hoping that we can basically sweep with Trevenant. Um, they're in seed bomb range, so we're just going to go straight for it. And the opponent does shield here. So I'm thinking, okay, what I'll have in the back? Maybe a Metacham? That's kind of what I'm thinking here. It is a Galarian Stunfisk. And I'm thinking here, okay, between Ninetales and Trevenant, we should be able to take this out. This Shadow Ball does a lot of damage, especially my super attack weighted Trevenant, which has got terrible IVs and um, one that I do uh, sort of hope to rebuild quite soon. Um, at this point they're in Seed Bomb range, and again with my terrible IVs this will take out. So it's like the one time that these are actually helping. I'm going to go for a catch. The opponent does go straight for the Rock Slide here. Or sorry, the Earthquake. They Earthquake this. Um, Earthquake of course does more raw damage, and we'll CMP in the Rock Slide as well. Just to make sure we don't take any uh, unnecessary damage here. Um, we're going to try and reach this move. The opponent might be pretty close to the move. I, can't, I wasn't really watching. You guys can probably watch and let me know if they were close to the move. Um, but we did get there in time. Um, and GG's, yeah. So, like, so far so good. I think that's a free win streak. You guys are about to see, though, that it, or no, it's a two-win streak. This is the third game. Um, a bomb snow, another really positive lead. I make a slight miss call here and um, think the opponent's going to overfarm. And we do end up CMPing on the Butter Ball, which is kind of unfortunate here. And um, we're going to fire it off here anyway. Um, I, sh I shielded up that energy ball, which has absolutely wiped my nine tails off the face of the planet here. Not not quite. It would it would almost one shot it though. Um, the, the opponent's getting very weak, and you know this is definitely a winning matchup for us. If I just shield this, this is absolutely fine. Don't want to see this. This is a, this is a core breaker of all core breakers. And at this point, I wonder should I have just came straight into Trevenant? Um, what I sort of decided to do here is come in and try and um get off a seed bomb before they get off a move. So that was kind of the thinking. Like hit them with the gleam, come in, hit them with the bomb. Um, but unfortunately it didn't work out that way. So what I decided to do is farm up to back to back, throwing bad timing here. I'm throwing in bad timing in this matchup, uh, deliberately, just to try and get the moves off in a particular order, um, if for anybody wondering. And, uh, yep, yeah, they just take that, and in comes Machamp, bro. This, this thing's a problem, bro. I, like, you could think, oh yeah, two Pokemon versus Machamp. No, no, this is, this thing's got four arms, bro, and he's got side delts bigger than my head. This thing is a problem. Because here's the thing, right? My timer's not up, and he can just wipe out my nine tails. I need to get to two moves. This guy's just in his pants, just absolutely vibing out. Just absolutely vibing out, and yeah, we're gonna lose this one, obviously. Um, Shadow Machamp is just so dangerous. We do get to the, you know, almost the back-to-back -back moves, but yeah, the, the damage is so oppressive in this thing. And uh, we're gonna hop into the next one, so um, like I said, we're, we're doing pretty well so far. I did quite like this team to begin with, but we'll see how it goes over a little bit of time here. In comes the Shadow Zard, um, so believe it or not, this would be probably my best answer for it. In the 2 shield, uh, Swampert just straight up uh, loses to that. <laughs> so the opponent banks uh, a Dragon Claw and dips into Fisk. And at this point, what I decide to do is bank up a little bit of energy, try to catch a Rock Slide. I absolutely feel in doing so. And the opponent's going to fire off probably an EQ here. The EQ, you know, we can survive that pretty comfortably. 
and I'm gonna oh see I messed up this is where I messed up badly here I messed up so badly in this matchup and I you know I hate the fact that I'm even putting this in but this could work out fine we could actually get a little bit of extra farm in the nine tails and this time we will see him pay the opponent I miscounted by one there I think the opponent free off the earthquake um after nine instead of eight and that free off my counting so a little bit of a misplay but we've got loaded energy on this charizard and the first blast burn comes after seven so we're gonna spam off uh you know likely we're yeah we're gonna spam off two weller balls before they even fire off the move i think the opponent could have fired off the blast burn but they decided not to there and at this point i mean this is gonna be a dragon claw but that would take us out of this range anyway and um if i can get the opponent to expend all of their energy i will do so now i am sort of expecting the catch but i can't really see like that's why i swapped straight out there because i was expecting the catch um in comes Meganium, and what i decide to do is go for an overform the opponent can go for an earthquake here and this will almost one shot it and allow us to get a nice little farm down so it's basically going to force energy off the charizard or um you know it's going to put us in a, a comfortable position we can actually go for a seed bomb here it's a shadow charizard it's on about 15 20 health and good night good night so even the resisted seed bomb took it out three out of four guys we're like okay so this is the best team this is the vibe okay what could possibly go wrong here what could possibly go wrong? A Bastiodon lead. Okay, that's what could possibly go wrong. We come in with Trevenant. They come in with bloody Whimsicott. Who uses Charm Whimsicott? Can, does any, can anybody tell me? Can anybody tell me who uses Charm Whimsicott? I would like to have a word with you here. Like, if you're going to use a Charmer, like, Charm Whimsicott, are you serious? You know, here's the thing. We're getting two shields off the opponent, but... Pff, this is just one of these RPS teams, bro. <laughs> um, So, yeah, we, like, we just have to eat this, bro. And this is going to be, what, like a Moonblast? Yeah, like, boom, good night. See you later, alligator in a wild crocodile here. Um, we've got two shields in Swampert, and that's our only real hope here. Um, so, yeah, of course, in comes the victory bell. So that, that's what can possibly go wrong with this team. Um, and the opponent starts letting me farm them down. I thought they celebrated too early, but the opponents were trolling me and let me, like, farm down the, the Bastiodon to, like, half health and then just one-taps me. So I was kind of pissed off. It was adding insult to injury here. That's what possibly can go wrong with this team. But, look, it's all good. It's all good, right? I went free 2 in the first set, and there was one match where... It was against Altaria, and I had them down to 20 health, and I didn't throw the Seed Bomb, because I thought it wouldn't take out, um, which I could have won, so I should have really been 4-1, and of course that's just pure RPS. Now, we do successfully catch something on the Swampert for once, which is nice. I'm retaining some uh, energy on there, and um, the opponent's going to start spamming off uh, Surfs here, so I'm like, right, okay, so you're staying in here. Maybe I've made a mistake coming into the Swampert. I form up to the Earthquake, wait a turn uh, to make sure that they don't catch, and uh, go ahead and throw off the Earthquake. The opponent to shield it. Bro, it's so obvious you're going for the Earthquake whenever you wait the turn. <laughs> Maybe that's the way you could beat, like, high-level players, just waiting the turn. Um, so I don't want to reveal my Trevenant here, necessarily, but, like, you know, what is my best option here? I'm going to farm up to the CMP, and I'm going to go for the Dazzling Gleam. So the opponent has taken Switch, but we've taken Shields, and that will take them out. In comes Galarian Stunfisk. Now, this is not as bad as you would think it is. Um, I'm trying to make sort of a team read. I'm thinking they might have an Octal in the back. So what I'd like to do here, if possible, is, you know, keep some health on this uh, Ninetales and just start spamming out a few other balls. These are absolutely chunking this thing. We go for another CMP time. Um, again, we're just throwing a beautiful timing here, just denying as much energy as possible on the opponent. And again, we can just safely shield this. Um, even if it's not an Octal in the back. Yeah, we come in with the, yep, so this is as predicted. That's exactly why I've done that right there. Um, the opponent here, um, they're, of course, going to farm up to 100 energy and that is going to leave me in a little bit of a rough spot. Um, so it's kind of actually, it's a bit of a rock and a hard place, maybe, like, coming in sooner would have been better, but then, you know, they actually sky attack me, so I'm like, wow. Um, but, yeah, that was just rough, honestly. I don't really know what I was supposed to do there. I think I just kind of messed around with the lantern a little bit too much. Um, I maybe should have just shielded up the Swampert and not eaten so many moves. Um, I think that was definitely the thing there. But GG's the opponent, and we're hopping into a very bad lead here. Um, we've got Registeel, so two bad leads here. So this is not great at all. Like, we have to swap into Swampert, or we have to swap into Trevenant, because Swampert is our answer to um, Big Reginald. And in comes the Noctile. So at least we're drawing out the Noctile, which is nice. And we've got the Swampert in the back for the Reggie, but they come out in 100 energy every time. Like, in this team, like, for this exact reason, I'd almost rather have Sableye. Because at least you can put off, uh, like, a Return if you're using Purified or a Mikeus. You can go for Foul Plays or a Power Gems and, like, really threaten a shield off this thing. But Trevenant, like, whenever you have to swap it in as the safe swap, it's rough, bro. And that's what kind of uh, cost me a few times. I, I probably should have realized it a bit sooner, but I definitely realized afterwards. Um, I end up eating a Shadow Ball, ball in this thing. Um, so I'm just like, right, Swampert versus the world, Trevenant, top left. Okay, <laughs> GG. <laughs> so that's kind of why I mentioned it's like an RPS team. If you lose lead, you kind of lose game a lot of times. Especially if it's like that Bastiodon team or um, even Azus. As you're about to see here, it's quite awkward. 
And what we're going to do here is try and stay in because we don't want to give up switch like super easily if possible. We need to get something out of this, like a shield advantage or something. I'm trying to make the opponent swap out, like we need to do something here. The opponent's going to fire off a player off, almost wipe us off the face of the earth here. And we're just going to fire off a, a dazzling gleam, see if the opponent wants to shield it. They do shield it, so I'm like, right, I've got a shield, let's swap out. In comes Chestnut, I'm like, bro, are you serious? Like, are you serious? Like, who are running these teams? Like, why am I seeing these teams, dude? <laughs> um, the, the opponent comes in with Chestnut to, to counter the Swamp Bird. We're getting a grass backlines here, which is just not that common. Um, to be fair, like, Zionic was running this uh, yesterday, so I wonder... Um, actually, I think I was playing these before that video, so I, I really just don't know, like, I really just don't know at this point. Um, it's kind of like, okay, I've lost lead and lost game a couple of times here. Um, we're going to try and farm down with Trevenant and try to sort of switch this around. Um, but <laughs> this is looking brutal for Trevenant versus the world, ladies and gents. And in comes Azu, so I'm like, right, okay, maybe we'll have a chance here, maybe we'll have a chance. Um, the opponent is maybe a little bit weak to Trevenant in the back. They're going to fire off an Ice Beam, and we're going to fire off the Seed Bomb. So I'm thinking, okay, we actually have a chance here. Um, if I can land a seed bomb on this thing, and in comes Typhlosion! Bro, why do you not just come in with that? They said nothing about Typhlosions on PV Poke. They said nothing about it. I'm blaming PV Poke for this one. I'm blaming, this is PV Poke's fault, honestly. You said nothing about Typhlosions on the website. <laughs> I, I, I get scammed here, folks. I get scammed. Bro, why are you not coming in with that? I was, I was raging. You know, after the Bastiodon, like the farm down thing, and... Seeing Venusaur in the back and Chestnuts, I'm like, bro, is this is this how this is? And then we just got a, a knocked out late, so I'm like, right, okay, this is chill. You know, okay, you've, you've reeled me back in here, go Battle League. Um, I try to CMP them. They don't fall for it. They're over farming for the Shadow Ball here. And do I make a call here? No, I do shield it. Um, if you do play this team, like, you just take Switch at any cost. Um, that's just the, the way this team is. We come in with Trevenant, and at this point, the opponent probably should be considering the top left as well. So we're going to fire off a seed bomb, and Lantern is just a, a thick boy. Um, they can eat that, no problem. Again, with my crappy IVs here, um, these these sparks are adding up, bro. Are, are, I, I may have a breakpoint where sparks are doing like one extra damage. These sparks are adding up, and even the surf is making it close. <laughs> the opponent might even be tempted to shield here at this point, but uh, wisely enough, they don't. We're up to back-to-back -back seed bombs, and this should be absolutely fine here, folks. This should be absolutely fine. Um, I'm expecting the Noctile to come back in and just go for the farm down. We will just chip it on the way out. And we've got a loaded energy on the nine tails. So we're going to come in with the nine tails. We're, we're just stalling here. We're going to wait down the clock a bit. Um, fire off the Weller Ball. The opponent goes for the uh, the extra. And they actually go for the move here. So I'm just obviously shielding this up. The fact that they didn't insta swap out is making me think they're a little bit weak in the back. And we're not going to let them get to the next move. I could have maybe over farmed or maybe tried to farm down. But I'm getting a little bit low in health. And I've already got loads of energy. In comes Metacham. So I'm like, right. Okay, we're, we're RPSing this team now. Let's go. I chose Rock, you chose Scissors, Unlucky Pal, and that must be, uh, what was the CP on that Metacham? Um, yeah, we went 1 and 4 that last, uh, that second set, so I'm like, oh, do I still want to use the same? So I just went straight in for the next one, I'm like, I'm ready, just hit, hit me with it, hit me with it. PV Poke said this is the best team, so this is the best team, hit me with it. Trevenant leads, I'm like, right, my luck is turning around here, my luck, quote unquote luck, is turning around here, and in comes Metacham, in comes Trevenant, um, they will go for potentially an Ice Punch. I never shield the first one because they do sometimes no power punch in the, if they're in the back. And um, we're trying to farm up to one before the ice punch again. And I'm just expecting the opponent to let this go. Um, they usually do let it go. In comes Trevenant and we're going to get off a seed bomb on this thing. So like Trevenant, they will get the farm down, which is pretty scary. But uh, we're in a pretty good position, 2-1 to one shields. Um, the opponent fires off, I think. If, sorry, I wasn't counting here while watching. Yeah, it is the shadow ball. So good shield there. Um, we're going to go ahead and fire off the uh, Weller Ball. And yeah, the opponent lets it go. In comes Noctile, and the opponent's up left. <laughs> they were ABA weak to nine deals. Um, you do see a lot of teams like that where they'll have like a Metacham in the back or like, you know, something in the front, like a, a Noctile in the front, Metacham in the back. So nine deals can be a bit of a core breaker. And we're going to see, can we core break the next Pokemon? We've got a Stun Fisk. Uh, again, this is like an evenish lead. And, you know, I don't necessarily want to swap into Trevenant as my safe swap. Um, I'm over farming here to get up to the Earthquake. I'm going to respect it. Um, I'm going to respect it on Rock Slide anyway. We're going to fire just before they reach um, another rock slide. And I'll most likely go for a CMP on the next one. Um, yep, we go for a CMP here. The opponent falls for it, which is nice. And uh, we're going to get off some nice damage here. Um, they're in uh, Weller Ball range. So at this point, I'm like, right, bro. Uh, you know, I'm not swapping into Trevenant, bro. I'm not doing it. I will go down two shields to retain, retain switch. I catch the um, rock slide on Swampert. They have no reason to like try to over farm or anything here. And we'll see what's in the back. So it is Metacham, so it could be a lot worse here. Um, I go for the over farm here, knowing I can live one move here. Um, it is just the power punch, of course. And we're going to go for back-to-back -back hydros in this thing. Threaten the shield. 
and the opponent has two, they're going to have to use something here eventually. So I'm pretty happy I got the shield off them, like Earthquake wouldn't have been that threatening to them, to be perfectly honest. And okay, so maybe the, this is the one with like the really bad CP, because that done a lot of damage. I'm actually coming in with nine tails to try and get the opponent's final shield, and try to get them to potentially uh, dump energy. But I'm thinking this might not be the correct play, because um, if you think like what we've seen so far, yeah, so now you swap into Trevenant, and um, we do try to preserve the, the nine tails. I'm thinking there might be a Noctile in the back, and I sort of only realized it at the time. We get the farm down, and what's the opponent going to come in with? They come in with Registeel. Um, we do just about get off the move, and ladies and gents, the opponent, like an absolute savage, caught on the stun fisk. I was absolutely raging. And again, like that's just one of those situations where it's like, you just have to throw in that situation. You know, you're about to get farmed down, so like, you've no option but to throw. Um, I'll play by the opponent there. They had a double steel team. Um, I guess, you know, that, you know, if I was like doing this over again, because a PV poke said nine tails in the lead, I would definitely have Swampert in the lead. And, you know, try to catch your Bastidon or Steel type at the front, get a good feel for it, and then sort of take it from there. Um, in this here, we're going to just go straight for the Gleam, we're not messing about. The opponent goes for the Overform, and probably knowing that we've got a Shadow with bad IVs. We almost one-shot it! So I'm like, right, okay, GG, we're, we're just uh, shielding this up here. If I can take Switch, I will take it every single time with this team. In comes Bastiodon, and at this point we're safe swapping into Trevenant. They can come in from Medicham if they want to, but they're going to enjoy a Shadow Ball, or not enjoy a Shadow Ball. I'm not expecting them to shield here. Yeah, so they do let it go. Um, the opponent's win conditions in these sort of situations is letting them go. Um, at this point, I'm like, haha, if only you knew what I had in the back, you would have top left it already. But you're about to find out. Swan Bass is waiting in the back, and they do finally, <laughs> they do finally top left. GG's to the opponent there. Um, again, just, I guess that wasn't too RPS, the opponent just made a bad call, um, with the bait. Maybe they didn't think it would do so much damage, but, um, definitely just winning switch there, uh, pretty much guaranteed us the result. And in comes Dragonite, so I'm like, okay, the game's been kind to me now. We're getting the good games now. Um, <laughs> yep, positive lead, positive switch. The opponent will get off an Ice Punch, we can eat it. And if the opponent does decide to shield, um, they're going to make a mistake here. So this is a better ranked Medicham. Uh, we're farming up to just before the Ice Punch here, just to try and leave with a little bit of energy for the Dragonite. The opponent shields, big mistake. We're going to CMP on the Seed Bomb. Actually, not even CMP. Um, but this would just about take out the Medicham. The, you know, if you're going to shield once, you shield twice. Um, they're going to come for a farm down, but... We're going to come in for a big farm dime with nine tails. They're not even going to get off a move. And in comes Trevenant. So they haven't top left it yet, but it won't be long. And uh, that's GG. So look, I think the team has potential. I would personally run it a little bit differently to how it is in PvP poke. Um, I would put Swampert in the lead. Because if you get lined up of like, the, most Bastiodons are in the lead these days. You kind of need your Swampert in the front, in my opinion. And honestly, instead of Trevenant, I would go Sableye on this team. And just go like, uh, Swampert, um, nine tails in the back with Sableye in the middle. I think that would work a little bit better than the uh, PV Poke team. Guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button, subscribe. Um, I'm going to get off here and watch the United match versus Brighton. Um, let me know if you're into football here at all. But thank you very much, everybody. I uh, joined up the Discord, by the way. I'm going to be streaming my sets in there a lot more often. And generally, a lot of people are streaming in there. So uh, we definitely have a super fun community in there. And it's growing every day here. So feel free to join up. Link in the description down below. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll catch you all next time.